What up, though? I'm chilling with Magnum Media. From the block to the booth, we in that thing, baby. OT Rail. What's the deal? It's your boy Magma here at another episode from the block to the booth. Special guest in the building. It's the fourth episode, and I got your man OT Rail in the motherfucking what up, building. What up, What's the deal, bro? How you feeling? Just chilling, feeling blessed every day. That's what's up, bro. I had to get you on the show, man. Earlier in the year before this bitch ass COVID shit, you feel me? We was yeah, always loving it too. At, at all the motherfucking events, we was at the Burn Lounge, we was at the Garden Theater, we was at Club Blue, you feel me? Everybody was getting it yeah, in, yeah. doing their thug thizzle, you feel me? Doing their thing. But my thing is, like, tell everybody what side of town you from, where you grew up at. Okay. I grew up on the east side. She grew up in Hamtramck. This is my old house right here. And then I moved off and then moved on the east side of Detroit, over there by Six Mile of Mound, and then over there by Neff, over there by Finney. And then from there, I just, she just took off. I went somewhere, I went somewhere else. You see? So, like, um, how long have you been, like, rapping? Period. Like, how long? When did you start rapping? Shit. I started rapping, shit, when I got out of prison. And I got out of prison because before prison, I had a I had a song. Oh, wait, let's back up before you start. What was you in prison for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, for serving narcotics. For, okay. For serving, yeah. <coughs> Minor bullshit, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. you feel me? Some shit we got caught up, you feel me? But now you can fit. Eleven time felon, never tell her. You feel me? I ain't no Takashi 6 9 ass <laughs> nigga, none of that shit. So. But yeah, you can finish, bro. Like, tell them where you, like, how... When you started rapping, how long you been rapping? Yeah, so before I went to prison, I went to prison from 2014 to 2016. Before that, everybody was like, go ahead and rap, go ahead and rap, because you got a story to tell. Your life is like a movie. Then I paid Dope Boy Rock, God bless his soul, paid him to get on a verse. It was called Never Broke Again, but I ended up getting locked up. And then my boys hopped on there and put free OT Rail, but he still got his, <laughs> I his just hook. Saw, I literally just saw that. Yeah, he still got his hook, his uh, hook on there and stuff. And then I got out, and then I just had so much shit I wanted to talk about, and then that was it. And then my boy took me to the studio, and then After just that, from there, just got you gotta used to it. You gotta tell me this, right? Nah, mm -hmm. never change up. Yeah. That's on my playlist. Yeah. But it's a song, it's a club banger. I saw you perform the song that burned, and I can't find that song. And I want that song because it's a banger. That song just make me be like, shit, nigga, I heard this shit before, nigga, like, nigga, like some, yeah. like some I'm talking about like some Street Lord, Blade, Icewood yeah. type, type feel, you feel me, when you hear this track. You talking about I ain't had shit. I ain't had shit. Yeah, that's, I that's on sound, that's on SoundCloud. Yeah, I wish I knew that, but now I know, I'm about yeah. to be listening to that's it That's on day. SoundCloud, y'all go check my SoundCloud out, just search OT Rail and all of my songs, that's about every single song that I did, from like, just playful ass songs to some serious songs. Right. It's on there. And then I got a YouTube channel. I got uh, Instagram, OT underscore R E L L. And then that's it. So, like, um, hey, do you got any other things coming up? Like other videos? Oh, yeah. Like projects oh, yeah. Oh, and shit? Yeah. I got two videos I got to shoot with Royal Pain. Shout out to Royal Pain. Uh, sure, I got two videos. I'm still debating what I want to do. Do I want to do something? Because never change up with some real shit. Now I want to either, I got two videos, I want to do something either for the females or just for the fellas, like some, some outside type shit. Right. Yep. Well, my opinion, I think you should go with your first mind. So if you go with your first mind, you feel me, you would never go wrong. Yep. Now, yep. what motivates you to make music? Because I got a lot. I got a lot, this is how I feel, I got a lot to speak on, I got a lot to speak about. And everything that I'm speaking on is real. So in my raps, that's why I say real rap, no cap. And then I go by a feeling, like I could, you play a beat for me, and then whatever feeling or vibe I get from it, that's what type of song I'm gonna make. If it sound like for a woman or break up, this and that, I'm gonna make a song for it. If it's a song that for the club, then that's how I feel. Okay, like what is the, okay, say for example, I'd be like, OT Real, bro, shoot to this booth, you feel me? Come, come to the booth with me, I got some, I got the change for you too, you feel me? Like, you gonna be like, all right, man, bro, I don't even want the change, bro, let's drop the music, you yeah, feel let's me? Do it. And then, yeah, that's it. the thing is, like, how, what is the process of you, like, when you be like, shit, I got this beat, I'm about to go in the studio, or if you don't got the beat, what is the process of OT Real in the studio? 
basically me all my songs is free for. so i'm that's, already that's ready dope. so i'm already ready when i get to the booth like you just gotta let me hear the beat first and i'm like okay bet as soon as i get to the booth it just clicks in my head and then it just go from there go from there and just keep it keep it going now since you freestyle uh, uh, everything is it hard for you to stay on subject when you freestyling to a song like in a way it is, in a way it's yeah, not. Like, I can't write. I tried to write. I cannot write for shit. It just be like, I'm be like, damn, you feel me? I can't for shit. Yeah, but that? freestyling is just something that I'm vibing to. It's just coming out like just. Pure soul. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. And I remember I never I always said I could never rap. I was a kid, young, young. I could never rap. I could never do that. I was listening to everybody do that shit. Everybody doing this. I'm like, damn, I wish I could rap. Damn, I wish I could rap. And then I just, shit, that was it. Just <clears throat> all the shit I've been through. And I was like, I got shit to speak on. So I was like, yeah, I did it. Like, I know before this motherfucking COVID pandemic boy shit, like, and you, you had shows backed up, lined mm -hmm. up. Back to back, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, I was, I was ready for that shit. I was, I was ready. I was ready to go to some, you feel me? I was so ready, it was like, but ever since then, in this COVID shit, what have you been doing, like, far as with your music and shit like that? Like, with my music since the Clover? Since I'll this say, COVID bullshit, yeah. Shit, I recorded maybe three or four songs. Three or four songs. I'm not writing, rushing it. Yeah, I'm not rushing it because I really want to go out there and perform. That's what I want to do. Just get out there, let them hear some new stuff, and just go out there and perform. That's what I want to do. But the Clover stopped all that shit because everything was popping, and then next thing you know, it was shut down. Yeah. It's like some of the most of the famous rappers they can't do shows and shit because of Clover. So some people live off the shows they do. A lot of a lot of artists live off shows so that they yeah. do because that's that's a, a third of their money, yeah. if not a half. Yeah, because they, they, they were saying like 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 they were saying you see what rappers is gonna go broke that's like famous and shit because the fact of like what was they saying I was watching a YouTube thing you see how how they move like selling cars and selling their oh, yeah, houses yeah, and all yeah. that yeah like. Uh, did you have when you when you started rap? I know you said people was telling you to go ahead and rap. Yeah. Did they feel like that you, you other than you had a story to tell? Did they feel like you had the talent to do it at the same time? I don't know, cause all my home, my homeboys they be like, dog, your life is like a movie, and that's like just talk about it. And then I felt comfortable rapping around them. Right. These are my homeboys, but when I get somewhere else, I just be. <laughs> like that until I get to the studio. Now I'm comfortable doing it. Right. You feel me? Just like my first time performing at Burns. I, I remember that shit. I mean, my first time performing there. First, I was nervous. Then I'm like, shit, why am I nervous for? Just act like you at your house by yourself. You feel me? And then it just came out from there. I was taking my shirt off and shit. One dude, one dude came up to me from my jet life. Jet life was like, you influenced me to take to take my shirt off. And every time I used to perform, I take my shirt off. People, some people would laugh or point and all that right. talk shit. But I don't care, you feel me? That's me, just being me. I don't care what a person got to say, you feel me? Whatever, they're not stopping me from getting paid or having my fun, you exactly. feel me? So I, I don't care. Um, like, how, like, do you have a manager as far as like with your music or do you do just fucking everything? I do everything myself. I don't have no manager. Now, when I want to go to the studio, I call my boy, go on our side, shout out to our A side. So he, he be working on Royce's project. He be working on Royce's project and everybody else's projects. So shout out to Ace because if it if it wasn't for him then shit, shit wouldn't be happening. That's That's what's up. Like when do you even feel like that you need management at this point yet? Or do you feel like that's just a bunch of bullshit? To me, management is just like somebody trying to keep you, oh, you got to go here. You got to do this. You got to do that. You can do, you can do it yourself. You and feel see, me? Look, like, you can do that shit yourself. I'm glad You're not you lazy. That, you feel see, me? Look, you get the fuck up and do it. See, I'm glad you said that because, nah, I got a company, Ask No More Management. Yeah. Nah, with me and my company, I don't, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to teach the artist yeah. behind the music. The okay. paperwork, the what they gotta do, oh, the okay, every okay. motherfucking thing, yeah. from from the recording with a flash drive to motherfucking the paperwork to behind the paperwork. Yeah. You feel me? That's yeah. what my management company is about. Yeah. And when I book you a show, that's yeah. when I get ten yeah, percent. Other than good. that, that's I don't get time. no fucking money. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, hey, look, this is how we about to do this. Um, you can stay on the phone with me, and I'll tell you how to do it. And we about to do it, or you could send me the money. We could go together, and I yeah. could do it. You could watch me do it. Okay. You 
feel me? That type okay. of shit. Okay. My management company, you know, you feel me? Okay. So it's like, because a lot of people think about it. Migos is the biggest motherfucking group. Yeah, Why the fuck right. they fucked out of money? <laughs> think about it. Why they fucked out of money? Fuck their management. Fuck their management. Either you go independent, or you can have your little management thing. You feel me? Or you, if you're not lazy, but you like to put in work, you can do it yourself. Find out where you're right, where the right management at. A lot of people only Amen. here for fucking money. I'm mm -hmm. here because I love this shit. I love music. I love talking to artists. I love networking. I love meeting new people. So it's like, like far as networking, like how many, what, like far as this COVID shit, have you like networked with any, any other like radio interviews, like, like just uh, videographers, like have you reached out to like any other artists or anything? No, no, I be, I talk to them on Instagram, I say it's hot shit, you know, they give them compliments and stuff, but no, I don't be reaching out to nobody, shit, I'm just. People reach out to you? Yeah, they be like, what you call, what's good and all this stuff, and blase split. And then I just like just chilling right now. And then now I even said this earlier before we talked. You feel me? I said I was like, I gotta get back on this music shit. You feel me? Because the club is just knocking everything off. And everything. Then, and everybody mind is just wherever, you feel me, doing whatever they wanna do. And then that was it. So now I'm about to like, get back to my shit. But you know, COVID was like the kind of perfect time for us as artists to meditate. Yeah. Like that was yeah. like other than family, it was like more time for us to meditate because we didn't have to go here and go there and do this and do that. Yeah, we right. had more us time. Yeah. So if we, we could have dropped about yeah, four right. or five albums, some some of us, yeah. some of us did, and some of them went over, you feel yeah. me? But I'm just saying, that was just a time for us to yeah. meditate. Me, I was just like, shit, I don't know. It was just like me. I'm about to keep it funky with you. Me, like Clover, it. yeah, I'm living wait, life wait, wait, and all my Before, you, get to, before you, you say that, I want to know, like, where did the fuck you get your drip from, bro? Because every time I see OT Real, bro, this nigga dripping, bro. I be like, I be like, shit, should I just go to the interview dressed like a normal nigga? Because I'm a normal nigga, you feel me? Or do I got to go in the closet and put some clothes on this nigga? Because this nigga always dripping, y'all. Um, is there, like, any, any other artist that you want to get on a song with or... You know that you want to get on a track with, like I need to get on a song with them. Like famous or like low? Just music. period. Period. Oh hell yeah! Hell like I'm, yeah. I'm gonna start in our city first though. Like first in our city though, because I represent the underground, underground, and I represent everybody who we know. You feel me? But you know, I want to know first, like in the city, is there like any other yeah. artists that you want to be like, hey, such such? I want to. Uh... I want. I let me see. I had to say, Jay Swan. Uh, All Star Jr. Rio and Mike. Shit, let me see. Payroll. Uh, Peasy. Shit, that, that's about. That's about it. No, nah, you're not getting on no track, like <laughs> What famous artists? Like if if they was to if you was, had to bring it right me. now. Or I had to say to... number one. I had to say my dog, little baby, because I remember when nobody knew who he was, and when he came out, I had. Backstage passes his opening first time in Detroit opening for PNB Rock, and then I had another ticket nobody wanted to go. It's like we don't know who this man is. You feel me? And I went by my fucking self. You feel me? Had an extra ticket. Went boom. Met, met his manager, role manager, shit. Not him. And then that was it basically. So I had to say, little baby, yellow beezy, shit. Let me see. Gucci man. Hey, you know who would make a sweet ass hook on one of your songs? That nigga Rod Wave, cause the way you rap. Yeah. Like, cause the way you rap, you don't use uh, auto tune for real. Yeah. You use raw. And yeah. when he come in, it's like I could have seen him on that Never yeah. Change Up song. Like I could have seen yeah. him on that. Like because yeah. it was the way, the way, the way it was, it was worded. The way it was like you know formed and shit like that. Yeah, cause me, this how the music I make. I I call it pain music, basically pain music, because the fact. Is situations that we go through on a daily basis, or stuff I'd have been through, or shit I'd have seen. That's reality, like facts. You feel me? So I just call it pain music. I got some music for the women. Got some. Women, I got music for the strip club. I got music for the real niggas. But mostly the stuff that I like to record is like real, like facts, like like stuff that I'd have been through, or or I'd have seen and stuff like that. That's what I like to put out. So like, how do you feel about? Detroit music right now as a Detroit culture, like how do you feel about it? Detroit music right now is popping. Shoot, I wish I, I wish it was like more like popping everywhere, like the everywhere, yeah, like everywhere. Of instead of, instead of like at Vezo them level, everywhere, yeah. everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. 
Because what's wrong? Like Atlanta, they fuck with each other. Everybody yeah. fuck with each yeah, other. Yeah, like they Detroit they came know. together and did that shit. We'd man, we'd we tear super, this bitch uh, up, man. We'd tear this motherfucker up. Hell yeah, see artists, see artists like fucking me working with motherfucking yeah. Rio or somebody. Yeah. Or you working yeah. with motherfucking, who else? Motherfucking Bezo or All Star yeah. JR or somebody yeah, like yeah. that. You feel me? Or mm-hmm. motherfucking, what's that DJ name? Uh, DJ Midnight. Yeah. Uh, DJ Midnight at my fucking party. You know, niggas oh, okay, like that. Okay, you feel okay. me? That's Sada Baby DJ. You feel oh, okay. me? You know, shit like that. But, um, what show? Do you cook, bro? Like, do you cook at the crib? Oh, yeah, I do it. But most of the time, I be, I be lazy. I go out to eat a lot, but I know how to cook. I'm a single man with no kids, so I gotta know how to cook. I'm my own shit. I take care of myself. You feel me? I don't ask nobody for shit. So yeah, I know how to cook when I don't be lazy. But most of the time, I be like, fuck it. I just go somewhere and go get some meat. Stop. But yeah, that's what's up, bro. Cause like, ever since I met my girl, like I've been cooking. Well, I was cooking before that because I am a cook. I've been cooking ever since I was twenty. 425 something like that and I've been I worked at a couple places downtown but ever since it's going on three years and ever since I met her and her mama found out I could cook that's been me at the house (laughs) goddamn cook you feel me like that's crazy but I ain't been cooking for about six months though for real ever since this COVID shit for real I cook maybe four or five times but I ain't even cook I ain't even cook today and it's the holiday yeah, I feel you too. I went yesterday to my mama's house. My mom was barbecuing the shit. I had to drive an hour away to go see her. Yeah, that was it. Sure. Like, yeah. uh, so you got any new projects coming? Like any like full projects coming? Like, do you got the name of it yet? Like, nah, really, nah. It's just like me just dropping music, just dropping music. Same I want to do movies. That's why I want to do movies. Fun, I've been trying to reach out to people and reach out, and they talking about you got that resume. And this and that, and I'm like, but for sometimes, movie, you feel look, me? Like, and then come that's on. that's my thing is too. Sometimes we don't have no money, even though we yeah. have some money. Yeah. We don't have no fucking money. We ain't never been in no movie. Yeah. We we only rap. We only do yeah. act in our videos. Yeah. That's a part of it. But if you see us and watch us, that's our resume right there. Yeah, you right about that. You right. You right about that. So I mean, that's that's bold. That's bold in a sense. You feel? Me? Yeah, I feel like, cause I feel like if you trying to do it, you gonna do it, cause yeah. you know you got the talent. I ain't about to call Spike Lee and say, hey, let me be that robbing nigga that robbed up the whole city, cause I know I'm not about to act <laughs> like that. You feel yeah, me? I feel I'm probably you, gonna man. act like a nigga that want to sit there and smoke weed and get robbed. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel yeah, me? Really. Like, but I'm just saying that shit crazy. Like other than movies, is there like anything else that you wanna like? Like, as far as me, like, one day I went on a business. I always wanted to own a, a restaurant that served all different nationalities of food. Like, one restaurant that serves Jamaican food, a Chinese food, Middle Eastern food, uh, soul food, like, Mexican food. Like, one place that serves all different type of food. You feel me? And that's it. That's what's up, bro. That's, that's what's up. Like, oh, yeah, you already said you ain't got no kids and you're single. So, make sure y'all... You know, y'all gotta be I right. I'm my DM, address, ladies. Y'all address. You know, <laughs> y'all gotta be right. Mm-hmm. He ain't about to just, you feel me? Or, yeah, you feel me? I know a lot of guys out there that's thirsty, but shit, a lot of niggas are already humble and they already know what they want. Yeah, you ain't you about me? that, man. I'd have been through crazy relationships, man. Crazy. So I know I ain't in, in it for no games. I'm not a PlayStation or Xbox. Hey, didn't you win a spot in that contest? For the free beats? Yeah. Yeah, the two beats? Yeah. I still got the beats. I never did nothing with it. Yeah, yeah, you won that contest. I remember that, bro, because when you posted it on Facebook, and then they posted it on Facebook, because I was following them, too. Yeah. You feel me? And it was like, damn, my nigga won that shit. And you ain't doing nothing with the beats yet? Nope, still got them, man. That's (laughs) that's, That's good, though, because you feel me? One of them can blow when you write the right shit. One of them, I can hear, like, like Rio and All Star JR on and all that. Yeah. And then it's crazy because you know when, when artists like us, they don't they don't charge uh, like they how they charge Big Sean or yeah, how they okay. charge they they won't they don't do that to us, but they still charge enough to where you they can eat. Yeah. Okay. 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 Because it's a lot of different artists that I know personally that's up there. You yeah. feel me? They and I reached out to them. They were like, oh, for real, this much. Damn. You feel me? Damn. And I'd be like, damn. Only if I, you feel me? Yeah. You know, it'd be, it'd be different little situations that we that we run into, you know. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, what you sipping on, bro? Some uh, THC Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, man. I mess with everything with the weed. So, That's the yeah, thing, weed I don't person. drink. Yeah, I don't drink. I don't do nothing else. I like to smoke my weed and shit. That's it. That's what's up, bro. Hey, man. Tell everybody where they can find you at on social media, where to look for your music at, okay. your links, and all that shit. Oh, yeah. First, y'all can uh, see me on Facebook at uh, OT Rail on Facebook. And then on Instagram, OT underscore. R E L L, so O T underscore Rel. Mm -hmm. and then on Snapchat, it's Rally. That's R E L L Y underscore R E L L three one three. And my music is on YouTube. You can see all my, you can hear all my music on SoundCloud. Go search my SoundCloud for O T Rel. And shit, that's about it. And I am your boy Magma. It's been another episode from the block to the booth, right here. With your boy OT Real. Holla at y'all. Mouth this thing. Yeah. Yeah.